Right, you look. We're going to react to uh, Grady Dean Garner, a player that a lot of us are excited about seeing potentially next season. I've heard that West Ham won't let him go, not for cheap anyway. So the likelihood is he comes back and he plays some part in the squad. So I've got a nice clip online about some of the skills, tricks. He's highly rated in that championship. So let's have a look and see what he offers. Gorgeous. Just a quick one. The strength of Grady from what I've seen previously to what I'm seeing now is a different level. He looks like he's really grown, he's matured physically and I think that's only going to bode well when he gets back to the Premier League. So Beautiful awareness. Eye for a pass. I think it'd be good to see him around that 12-yard box, that 6-yard box. Creating chances, getting in. You know, currently Moyes is playing with very much wide wingers, like some crossing in and bringing in. But I think Grady brings a different dimension when he's cutting in. Um, he's playing more as a kind of offset forward, so it could be a really good option for us next season. Brilliant. Here you've got four players around him and you've got one player literally holding back he's got to get past all of them to get anything off so let's see what he does here bit of trickery holds him off strength power and again finds a pass and that's something that we're looking to achieve next season not only having physical wingers but what we've seen from Bowen is he's creating chances this is another example of it if you can get Dean Garner and Bowen and then either Alera or Antonio up front Antonio will be in that box and he will be lively. So this bodes really well for us, I think. Yeah, and again, like I'm saying, he's getting... It could be the way West Brom play. I, I don't know enough about West Brom to, to speak about it, but the fact that he's moving very much, hitting a pass and then going in behind is something that's really tricky for teams to deal with. Um, and I think against teams that are slight to sit deep, Grady's going to offer that kind of pivot in attack where if we're not getting any success through the long balls or any successes through set pieces, we can perhaps thread a ball through, maybe through four nows, where Grady can get in behind and set up another chance and start to, to put more pressure in the box. I feel that's the way Moyes will go. Obviously, in the past four or five games, West Ham have shown that by getting players in a box, that's where the opportunities are going to come from. And Grady, in a lot of these clips, is actually pushing himself into these positions. So, for me, it's a no-brainer. I think he's, he's going to be really important for us if he plays the way he's played for West Brom. But, you know, it's a different league. I'm not, I'm not denying that, but we'll see. I like this. I like this. Different, different, different sort of like element to his game. I think we've all wanted him to show a bit more in assist and and, uh, and scoring. And I think if you remember just before um, Pellegrini let him go on loan, he, he looked promising and he was he was sort of contributing goals wise. So he's hit a lovely shot here from the edge of the box. Now, what's promising about this and the sort of the difference between the Championship and the Premier League is he has pressure on him. And is the shot the best? No, but it's the precision of it, it's in the bottom corner, it's very difficult for the keeper to get to. And I think one thing I would have loved to have seen this season is West Ham score more goals from outside the box. And obviously Declan showed that last night that he's got in his locker. Having another player like that is going to be really good for us. I love this, I love this so much. Look, holds him off, holds him off, all over him. And then that, composure. Composure. We don't have a player like that. I think we have players that like Bowen who like to, to stick wide and very much get balls in the box. I think Bowen's got it in his locker to, to cut inside, but I like the way Grady stays wide and I like the way he, he cuts in at the last minute and then he just has that little composure just to flick it over the keeper. Again, he's really promising from, from sort of a goals contribution. I don't believe, unless we have a brilliant transfer window, we're going to get a lot of strikers in. So our goals are going to have to come from other areas. So again, him having this kind of skill set is really good for us. Cuts it in. 
brings it out to the left, hits it across the keeper. Exactly the same as I just showed before. Brilliant skill. Really like that from him. In fact, he's developing that in his game at this stage as well. Look at this. Strength holds it off. A lovely bit of pie esque through the legs. See you later, son. Obviously, draws a foul. This is gorgeous. Nice bit of control. Over the top. He must have had a blinder in that game. I don't know when it was, but he, he was pretty sick. So I think what we've seen from him is he's talented. We knew he was talented. Um, I think he's added strength to his game. And I think when he first came into the team, he, he was quite weak um, in terms of holding people off. But in here, you've had multiple situations where he's had people all over him and he still managed to get either something off or finish his run or score a goal. That's going to be really good for his development. And I think in a David Moyes team, that's one of the, the key factors. You've got to be strong. Um, in terms of goals, it's a different level. So you, you can't, that translation doesn't always work. But um, what he's shown is he's got an eye for goal and he's got composure, which would indicate that if he does get a chance, he probably will be able to pull it off, you know, give or take, you know, the odd miss or whatever. But um, so that's really positive from us. Um, and the skills, I like the skills. I think I think West Ham need need a bit of excitement, and I and I think we need to switch it up. And I, it will be interesting to see what the transfer window comes. Whether people like Lanzini and Anderson leave and and Grady's that sort of a player that will come to the fore. But as I always say, it's better for a team to have multiple different options of different types of players than just stick to the same system. Yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to see him play. Uh, I don't know what you lot think. I mean, do you think he gets in over a Yarmolenko or a, an Anderson if they regain their form? I know Yarmolenko's had a good spell recently, but or would you like to see Grady potentially start next season? Would you start him over Antonio on the wing? Or um, you know, it's com it's completely up to you. It's your opinion. So let's be hearing it. Let's have it. In the words of Delia Smith. And uh, until then, take care.